there were 559 submissions and we narrowed down to the top 100 and the top 100 creators were tasked to submit to me a one minute or less video introducing something cool they've done with their content or multiple things or what they plan on doing if they don't have anything yet. We're gonna start watching it. So we're gonna start with our lucky first creator who is dun, 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 lucky seven. Wanna see what this witch has been doing lately? Well, listen up. I've been playing League of Legends since 2018. God damn, I'm fucking old. Uh, anyway, so. It wasn't until October of last year when I decided to get up on my good foot and dive into Rank League, which I'm sure some of you know. Is Whoa, look at that garbage. garbage. Oh. Since I've been playing for a while now, I'm pretty much numb to the toxic emotional abuse and absolute hot mess that this game has to offer. Ha. So I decided, fuck it. And thus, the Road to Master series was born, in which I spilled the most brain-rotting, mind-numbing tea on what goes on in rank from the mind of a degenerate Ari name, who is my sweet baby who I love so very much, with the ultimate goal to go from unranked to master. Whoa. You can expect moments like this. Yeah. Or even this. Whoa. Interested to see more? Check me out on YouTube. Hope to see you guys in top 50. Your second Cal, let's go. It's me again, Kalechi. You might remember me for my insane right clicks or my charity streams. One thing about me is I love to give back and inspire anyone that'll listen to do the same. Something cool that I was able to do for graduating was create an on-campus resource that provides free clothing to students that are in need. Cougar Closet. Cougar Closet. Kalechi Urebu created the Cougar Closet. I did a clothing like drive, the supportive star of Hope Homeless Shelter, and seeing that positive impact that event had inspired me to expand that idea. And as of today, the closet has gone on to service over 4,000 students and counting. Students are already facing so many financial stressors, so to relieve that little bit of stress off students' back was super important to me. I felt that this would not only save students money, but also give them the confidence that they need to go to class and succeed. And when you look Aww. good, you feel good. I also teamed up with Kids Meals to host a toy drive for children who might not get to experience a fun holiday season like you or I might get to. One day, I want to build a school, a playground, start a foundation. I want to create things that last longer than you and I. And every day, I realize how much power we carry in being able to change the world, even if it's a little bit. Next up, we have Meow Kai. Huh. Something cool? Something cool. Something cool, huh? Mom, who wrote that? Wait, am I filming outside? Just last week, I actually got the Osmo Pocket 3 because I wanted to do more filming instead of streaming. In just one week of time, I recorded myself dancing and I posted a video <gasps> on TikTok. And then I also went on a little trip to the city and I recorded everything that I saw. And I also recorded my own reaction into getting top 100. I'm on the list! I'm on the list! Nice, guys. Everywhere I go, I just feel really inspired and I really, really want to share this feeling with everyone. I don't know why I never started, but honestly, we all start somewhere, right? If not now, then when? So, next up we have Mayfei. You know that thing you're super passionate about? Yeah, you should totally info dump people that. I started holding artist mentality classes on my streams, expecting my viewers to click off or have people call me out on things they don't necessarily agree with. Oh my god, she's such a dumb anime girl. And for the most part, it is me babbling about all the things I've messed up on on my creative journey. We've talked about mindset, networking, processes, relationships, and other topics relevant to the entertainment industry. But surprisingly, by the end of each class, I ended up with really great discussions that have inspired others to enjoy their own processes just a little. So here's my lesson to you. Don't be afraid to share what you know. You don't need a PhD in what you're passionate about. You just need the experience to back up what you know. Of course, expect a little scuff happening along the way. But I hope that one day, someone can thank this little dumb anime girl for giving them that gentle push they need. See you next class. Next up, we have JG Wu, aka Jonathan. Now that I have the judges in the palm of my hand. Oh, hey. Oh, that scared me. There. Now that I actually have 60 seconds to talk, let's talk shop. Not, not that kind of shop. I'm currently planning a YouTube series called Streamer Showdown. The logo needs a bit of work. In this series, I challenge your favorite streamers and content creators to unique challenges to Whoa. see who the better gamer is. Some of the challenges might include my Genshin Marathon or Valorant Golf. 
Or we could just duke it out in a straight up 1v1. Actually, I should challenge Cat to a 1v1 in League of Legends. As I'll for my you, music no, endeavors, I've collaborated <laughs> with numerous YouTube musicians on large-scale projects, as well as creating content of my own. Some of you might remember my music submission from the last Creator Royale, but that this time crazy. around, I'll be releasing one of the largest music projects that I've ever worked on, if I move on to the next round. Just to give you guys a little hint a about what it's gonna be about, it starts with the letter K and ends with an Unfu Panda 4. <laughs> Here's a short preview <laughs> to get you guys excited. Okay, vote for me, K. Thanks, bye! It's Nylabot! I wouldn't necessarily use the term cool to describe my content, but I would say the fact that I've been Why able not? to coach, cast, and compete, that's pretty cool. A big shout out to Nyla though, she's the only immortal woman in this tournament. Wow! competing right now in Open Qualifiers 3 of Game Changers. She's always so patient, what I've noticed so far Probably one of the most patient players in this entire tournament. In the future, I would like to venture out into more things other than just Valorant for my content. And I would like to make non-scuffed cooking streams in the future where I can do gamer meals. It's kind of like a Ooh, better than Whoa, that salmon looks really good. What's all that? Goat cheese? That gamers can get better nutrition, even if they're not the best cooks. And I have even more planned for the future, so if you'd like to see any of that, make sure to follow me on social. <laughs> Neil spotted. Hey, Why am I like? Thank God this isn't live. Next up we have Behavior. Hiya, it's B. I recently hit my three-year milestone on Twitch, and to celebrate this journey, I'm sharing with you three of the coolest things I've done since first hitting go live. Number one, online events. I've joined tournaments, hosted charity streams, subathons, and even got a B tattoo for one of my goals. Two, IRL events. From land show matches at UBC to being invited to gaming and influencer events like Conquest, The Oasis, Project Horizon, and some awesome industry mixers where I even got to meet OTV. 3. Mental health projects. I started the Wellbeing podcast and an Instagram series to clear up well misconceptions being. about mental health disorders such as PTSD, OCD, ADHD, and more. It's all about giving voices to those who need to be heard. It's been an incredible journey and I'm excited for the many more opportunities and plans I can bring to life for you guys. And just a reminder, don't forget to be awesome. Next up, we have Kara Cakes. Hey, sorry I'm late. I was working on my Creator Royale submission. I'm trying to implement some new styles into my editing. Oh, when was the last time you showered? But it's been really, really difficult because I love a lot of different kinds of videos. That's right. You're hearing things again. Just kidding. It's time to film a new video. Look, I watched you working all night. It's kind of my job. But then I remind myself that the best content comes when I'm surrounded by grass. Just kidding. Location does help though. Recently as a creator, I've been taking more creative liberties with my content. I've been bridging that with gaming to tell stories about the average league player. It's Iniku. I'm back. Did you miss me? Thanks for having me again. I'm Aniku, and I'm just a girl who likes to play dress up in my bedroom. But recently, I actually left my bedroom. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. And expanded my hobby <gasps> into something a little bigger. I had no idea what I was doing. My content focuses on romanticizing my life as a shapeshifter, streamer, and gamer. I just love capturing the small beauties of life because I'm delusional, and I like to believe that I am a Studio Ghibli protagonist. Recently, I won first place in a contest for A Kinder World, a mobile game for mental well-being, which I am very passionate about because I actually took a seven-month hiatus from content and streaming last year due to poor mental health. For the contest, I created a short ad where I kind of isekai'd into the game, and it was so well-received by the developers. Everyone tells me to find a niche for my content since I have way too many interests. But you know what? Delulu is the Salulu. I'll figure it out as I keep creating and sharing what I love. Thank you so much for giving me the chance to do so. So it's Mads now. <gasps> I'm Mads Nikki. I'm a variety streamer on Twitch. And for round one of Cat Leante's Creative Royale 2, 
I wanted to highlight my monthly bullet journal streams. Since December, I've been streaming, Whoa. designing, and creating monthly bullet journal spreads. A bullet journal is an artistic planner that you draw on Boba the spill. paper, usually incorporating a different monthly theme. Whoa. The June theme is The Great Wave by Katsushika Hokusai. If you want some fart history, Hakusai did over 30,000 prints in their lifetime. Bullet journaling on stream has been a great way for me to shake up my content and to experiment with a more just chatting style stream as opposed to gaming. In the future, I want to get in the habit of repurposing my Bojo streams into long form content on other platforms like YouTube to practice my editing and expand my content. Filming this entry has been a fun way to dip my grippers Rippers. into that. So thank you so much for considering. That was uncalled for. <laughs> Next up, we have Vam Pupper. Damn, this this tea is so good. So what do you do for a living? Oh, well, I'm a VTuber artist who streams on Twitch. I illustrate, make VTuber models, and work on silly projects such as this free Riz VTuber asset. I love sharing my process as an artist who never went to art school. I have quite the knack for explaining art fundamentals in simple terms which helps even the most layman of laymen understand art. As such, I organize art talk stream events monthly where I tackle topics relating to art and the VTubing space. In order to include as many other VTubers and artists into my streams, I make outreach posts on Twitter like these. Very soon, I plan to edit these art talks and post them on YouTube for easy access. Recently, I've started a podcast with my friend Kel where Reap about topics surrounding the VTubing space. Oh, and I also illustrate carnality. It's currently on hold while I work on my other projects, but. Hey, where'd they go? <laughs> Next up, we have Handmade, who goes by Xing Man. So I started streaming three months ago, and this is what's been happening. Toilet break. This is so well edited. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Next up, we have Red Larius. Anyway, something cool I've done. Wow, I can't believe I made it this far. Um, yeah, my art. Let me let me show you guys my art. Okay, starting with my live 2D model is probably one of the hardest projects I ever had to do just because so much goes into making one of these. Not to mention I messed up mm, quite a lot. Then I did a 3D model for VR chat. I learned how to do PNG so I could make stuff for my friends. I had to have a detailed background, because why not? And my dream is to eventually make my very own video game. On Twitter, I've done art raffles and tier lists, and I even won an art contest and found someone I really look up to. And I'm so grateful I got the opportunity to show you all what I've been working on. I hope you'll consider me for the next round, and thank you so much for listening. Always challenge yourself to reach for the stars. That is so cute. Um, actually, if you could reach for the fire extinguisher instead, that would be great because I honestly don't even know how this fire started in the first place. <laughs> Next up, we have Yoshihiko. <sighs> what the hell? What are you doing here again? Oh, I'm just rewatching that crazy time you IRL streamed for 14 days and did challenges throughout. Oh yeah, I, I guess I did that, but it wasn't that crazy. Oh, I'm on the toilet. <laughs> what? Not crazy. Dude, you did so much. I mean, I, I guess, but it wasn't really that insane. Oh, what the, whoa, what the hell is, what the hell is How did bro take damage? <laughs> oh! Hit us with a frickin' domain expansion. So this is some zoom zoom. Really, some time to play some league. 
Uh, Unable to queue, I have to reach level 5 on the battle pass? Okay, um, let's see what it is. Wait, what? Okay, must be a cheese-hating, tea-loving, comfy league streamer. I mean, okay, I do always have two different types of tea when I stream, so cheese. I think I'm good on this one. Cheese. And claim- okay, what's next? Wait! On channel point claims? Good thing I have my drawing redemption, reading a sentence from a book, and more. Wait, you don't Level like Level 3 must have up. challenge streams. Well, I've done Aaron Bingo, putting stickers on my face after every death, having to rhyme to leave spawn, and more, so this one's done. Fourth one, charity stream. I had a super fun birthday stream where we raised over $175 for National Aviary. Not only is that worth like 30 bobas, but we also learned a lot of bird facts that day. Final one, have your Twitch chat play League for you? This is where I need your help. I want to get nine Hi, streamers Pupper. and get their chat to play League for them. If a chatter types Q, you send out your Q. I don't want to be random. I don't trust any of y'all, by the way. ...with this idea, so I was hoping this opportunity... <laughs> ...be playing League. F, 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 F. I need to get me some League friends to do this with. Please let me play League again. Next up, we have OG Meep. I have the same alarm sound. Some of us find peace and serenity in loneliness. We have an absence of a need for someone else, but if you're like me, loneliness can be daunting. It can make you feel isolated and sad. I have an innate need to make connections and build genuine relationships. I saw I wasn't alone on social media, so I decided to create a way for creators and streamers to find like-minded individuals through an opportunity called Creator Collabs. Creator Collabs started as a way for me to introduce my mutuals to each other. I had and still have so many amazing mutuals that I wanted to introduce to each other. So I threw them into lobbies and thankfully they were able to foster new relationships with each other. After seeing that, I wanted to open up the opportunity to more people. I can proudly say after one weekend of having the Google form out, we had 84 signups, which is absolutely insane. We start lobbies next week and I'm so excited for this next chapter. Thank y'all for trusting me to create lobbies and help you find people who will hopefully become part of your journey. If you remember anything, don't forget to eat your food and drink your water. I love y'all so, so much and hope to see you soon. Bye. But here we have big boy games. Being a game dev, I've had the chance to work on a lot of really cool things, but I think one of the coolest are game jams. No, not that kind of jam. One of those jams that I did was a 48 hour jam for the GMTK game mm. jam. I competed with 8,000 other teams to make an entire game in only 48 hours, which is not really a lot of time. Doing super short game Hello. jams, like these are really hard. I got started getting all the basic programming out of the way with just some basic placeholder sprites. And once I had that going, I spent all my time doing all the art, but eventually I did get it finished. By the end, I was cutting it pretty close, but I finally got everything done, put the music in and bam, after sleepless nights and a lot of five nights of Freddy singing, I was done. Overall, we ended up doing pretty good, actually. Whoa, we got 157th great. place out of over 6,000 entries. So I'd say that's a success in my book. Even though it was hard, it was just an awesome opportunity to learn about making games, and especially how to manage your time and just focus on what the most important thing is. But thanks so much, and I hope to see all of you again. Moving on, we have Barry Bunzi. Hey, Nadu, it's a fair punishment. The month of May has been absolutely chaotic and full of surprises. I got into the Twitch Line Guild, Beta Real's Top 100, made it to 400 Twitch followers, turned 20, and I got the Magical Garfield! Because of all of this, I've also made a lot of new friends that I want to do cool things with. So, begins Bunzi Summer Extravaganza. Okay, I know summer technically doesn't start until mid-June, but like, I don't care. So every week, I have at least one new fun collab to drag my friends and other creators into, like PowerPoint nights, competitions, challenges, How to and collect general more funny chaoticness. Some of these will be streamed, but all of these will be recorded and posted onto my channel. Oh man, now I have to edit? Well hey, I do need to become a better creator. Speaking of which, I'm also finally making a stream schedule instead of just streaming whenever. Officially starting May 27th, you can find me live on twitch.tv slash fairybunzy every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. EST. So come along with me to find out what's next. You'll definitely want to be there. There. Yo, yo. Tell me more. So much has changed since the last time I was here. Well, not really. I still play a ridiculous amount of Valiant. It might be a little bit unhealthy, but anyways. I achieved a lot and did a lot of cool things. Played in tournaments, hosted tournaments, challenged myself, and made a lot of you argue with each other. But in the end, it's just a loop of the same ununique thing over and over again. It's time for a change. No. Oh. And the only thing that's different and unique in my life is me. So enjoy this new journey. Or don't. But it's about time that I document my life.
Next up, we have Collection Revolution. Back in November 2020, I decided to do a little challenge called Sonic Sunday, in which I would be the first person ever on Twitch to complete every single Sonic game ever created, and, well, I did it. <gasps> so for 143 Sundays, over the course of three and a half years, I played and completed every single Sonic game, from the very first one, to the McDonald's LCD games, to the Japan exclusive ride games. I've always been so passionate about games, and Sonic's been one of my favorite franchises, so to share the history with the community was such a fantastic time. The games we played were crazy. Hey, stuff. don't forget about me down here. Did you tell them about how you twerked for charity or that you do some Bob Ross streams or that you tried to get 100 nuggets? Sorry about that, folks. It's, uh, he's seen a lot. This challenge also helped me come out of my shell as a streamer. It made me do some really wild things that I'll never forget and I don't think my community will let me forget either. At the end of the day, I was really proud of myself to... What the heck? Hey! Now that I've taken his body, I can tell you about all the embarrassing stuff. Like when he dressed up as the Disney princesses and So this is Cowie. <sighs> I'm finally done. I can't wait to- Cowie! What? It is I, Cat Liente, here to congratulate you for being selected for Top 100 for Creator Royale. You need to make another video by May 24th. <sighs> but, but I have a family trip I, I have to go on, and I have to get ready for my debut. You have to then! Or you must <laughs> beg me with your life. Okay, bye-bye now. Okay, I can do this. What must this do again? We are gathered here today to come up with ideas for Creator Royale. So, any ideas? Move out of my way! I have been working super hard on making sure that everything is pretty for this debut. We have renovated scenes for the cafes, we made new emotes, and there is so much more to be done before my birthday on June 2nd, which is being hosted on twitch.tv slash cowie. There's also a new Discord server if you still want to join- Hey, wait, I'm not done! We finally opened Sticker Shop after four years of hesitating. Wahoo! I have so many new video ideas for content, but I've had so many mental breakdowns. We could say that we're simply proud of starting. Taking the stuff to try is difficult, and it's stressful, and it's scary if you don't know if you're gonna fail or not. But if you never start, you'll never know what could happen, so I'm proud of us for just starting our journey. That idea suck. Kick her out! No, wait, but- Mean Girls x Julie Bear- ooh. A funny content creator. How do I even begin to explain Julie Bear? Julie Bear started Glow, so... I joined Glow. I watched Julie steal my girlfriend right in front of me. <laughs> Julie Bear got a tattoo of Butterfly, so I got a tattoo of Butterfly. That's so fetch. Julie Bear's Vietnamese, so I decided to be Vietnamese. <laughs> One time, Julie yelled at me in League. It was awesome. Julie Bear LOL is the most wholesome content creator I have ever fucking met. Jokes aside, I definitely love content creating, especially as a femme identifying streamer. And what I do best is I like to build Aww. communities. So amazing that I've met so many amazing people through Glow, Gaming League of Women, honestly just through gaming in general. And I just think it's so important that you just have fun with this. Legend tells of a creator Ooh. who Whoa. wandered the lands of streaming aimlessly with no direction until he learned of a competition to prove that you were the best of the best. Though inexperienced, he battled bravely, but quickly learned that just playing video games in front of a camera would not be enough. He studied those who kept advancing through the tournament, learning skills like production value and thinking outside the box. He entered the competition again the following year, but this time armed with his new found skills. However, he was bested again, this time in the round of 100. Whoa, huge progress. Victory was so close, he could almost taste it. The following <laughs> year, he came back again, this time fully armed with more creativity and even new forms of content. Finally, he was victorious. But was it enough? What battles were yeah. yet to come? <laughs> Next up, we have the Lonely Croc. Or Lonely Croc, sorry, there is no the. Whoa. Who's out there? Give me your wallet. No, I don't have any money, but I do have something to gush about. What's going on? Like hitting over 400 subscribers on YouTube, refining wow. my editing style and finding my voice, reaching top 100 in Creator Royale, completing multiple over 24-hour challenge runs, hosting Twitch sub-events like speedrunning the worst categories I could find, or finally making myself the e-clown I was meant to be? Or how about upcoming projects like video essays, VOD highlights, and of course more shorts, and a bag of ice-eating stream for charity. What? So about that money oh well at least i'm home safe <laughs> wait that's so cute is the handle katakemi it's you 
Stop hyperfixating on stupid games like Resident Evil. It won't get you far. What if I told you that this little autistic obsession I have has led me to do something crazy enough as to being able to interview the voice actor for one of the most iconic villains from the franchise? Let me clarify. I have been playing Resident Evil for a while on my channel, and with that, my stinky little autistic brain has latched onto it, having it become a great comfort for me. And with obsession, brings me to do some crazy <gasps> things, like having They're a Leon shrine. I got the idea to interview the voice actor for Wesker, Craig Bernatowski. Because why the hell not, right? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? So I sent him an email. The anxiety ate me alive. I mean, why would a small VTuber like me be able to have that kind of opportunity? I checked my email for days, constantly, and eventually he replied. I interviewed him, and I even got to play Helldivers with him after wow. I was shitting my pants the entire time, and now I'm going to teach him how to play Dead by Daylight. So yeah, it did get me far, and I'm excited to see where else my rotting autistic brain will take me. Dun 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 dun, it's L9 Zhao. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, wait, look at this. You see that? <laughs> oh. oh my god, that's a jalapeno? Oh. Wow, that's amazing. Wait, don't you know Howard? How I thought you knew Howard. Howard. Don't tell me it's a these nuts joke. Or these nuts. Please, sorry, I just I don't mean to pause, but please tell me this is not a dating show where you are the sole bachelor with one, two, three, four, five, six beautiful women, and you pulled out a these nuts joke. L nine Riz. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not that you good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, she's good. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm addicted to naked pictures and wait, we could do better. <laughs> Next, we have Jules Verne. Is your favorite streamer a one-trick pony? Are you tired of seeing them run down by a 30 and 2 I miss her jet? Do you wish you could connect with them on their other interests? Introducing Jules Verne, the content creator expansion. Our previous model was solely Valorant based. Features in our new model include outfits of the day, day in the life, vlogs, just chatting, active socials, and so much more. Inspired by other creators on the market. During this special Glowstream ad, get the all-in-one expansion pack for just the $5. Ad? We got an ad? But wait, there's more. Join the community now and unlock access to future travel and collab content. This is a limited time offer. Follow now. To purchase your Jules Verne expansion <laughs> package, have your credit card ready and go to twitch.tv slash Jules Verne. You are desperate if you take Discover. That's twitch.tv slash Jules Verne. Twitch bots are standing by. Offer is not exclusive to Twitch subs. Anyone who joins and supports the community on any platform will have access. Next up, we have KJade. Something cool that I've done that I love to talk about and... Boy, do I talk about it a lot, making music. And here lately, I've been wanting to incorporate making music into some of my streams, so here's a cool idea that I've been working on. Chat controls my music making process. Whoa. Title is a work in progress, but in theory, it'll work like this. After doing some women in STEM things and code some shit, I'll open up FL Studio and let chat take over. If they want to add a piano chord, they just need to type in the chord and it'll auto add it in. If they want to add a beat, they just type the word beat into chat and the code will randomly place a note on the timeline, so on and so forth. I even want chat to decide what I sing about beep, beep, and beep, throw beep, in a couple <laughs> lyrics too. This is something that I'm genuinely so excited to work on and eventually put out in the future, so... Is that cool enough for you, Kat? Remember new Nezzy? The person that got a parking ticket because they were trying to watch the reaction of their original submission. <laughs> I almost died on stream recently. What? Okay, died might be a little far, but I did get really, really sick. Why? Let me give you some context. I recently created a challenge to get better at speedrunning in Minecraft. Now, I don't have any experience in speedrunning Minecraft, but I have played the game since I was 10. So I thought it would be a good idea to challenge my chat. I have one hour to beat this game. If I don't kill the dragon every nuggets? extra, I have to eat one McNugget. And I'll be honest, 
I was feeling pretty confident until I got to the nether and I watched time fly past so much, in fact, that I had to make a compromise with chat. 10 for locate, 20 for reset. Okay, I can live with that. So with a fresh start, you'd be thinking, surely I could do it. No, what is this spawn? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. No. Not really. No. Although I played Minecraft for a really long time, I never said I was any good. So then came my punishment. This is oh. my, my mouth is rejecting the chewing. And you should watch my next attempt too, because I almost died on stream Whoa, recently. whoa, 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 whoa. You hit us with a loop? Oh yeah, you're going to find out tomorrow. The, re the reason why you guys find out tomorrow is there's going to be a redemption round. So if you get rejected, by the way, if you didn't make the top 50, the bottom 50, which is not even bottom, right? Because you're in the top 100. But the, the 50 people that got rejected have the option to submit to me a redemption video for a redemption round. And the redemption round will happen next week. So that's why it's fast. That's as you guys are going to find out tomorrow. Because I need enough time for you guys to make the redemption round video. So this is QQ my aunt or my aunt. This is how you spell their YouTube. <laughs> Boss, you gotta see this. What could be so important that you're coming in here? They're saying you fell off. Who said that? Oh, what about the cover I released this year? Flopped. My vlogs? Flopped. The Valentine's dating sim event? You would not go on a second date with that Oh, come on. Also, Ben, whoever said that? Boss, we gotta do something different if you're gonna make it big. I know, but what? Since you're sitting abroad in Tokyo, why don't you go outside? Hello from Tokyo. That's right, I'm studying abroad and my Razer laptop can barely run games, so oh. I have to go outside more. I've also been wanting to upgrade my IRL content and dabble in fashion, so this is not the Maybe worst thing in the world. Also, being in Tokyo kind of just forces you to get better at style, so for this creator royale, I'm showing a new side of me and I hope you can tag along. See you later. This is Future hey, Meek's I'm submission. Future, future Meek. Hey, I'm Future Meek. You signed the waiver, right? No, uh, the NDA. Oh, uh, it's probably not important. Welcome to the set of Project Classified. Follow me! What? Are you coming? Feel free to take a look around. Just don't look too far. <laughs> oh, that's too far. Our incredible team of builders are so hard at work making sure everything is set for our 22 actors to record. Maybe we should go elsewhere. What do you think? I know it doesn't look like much right now, but Project Classified is the first choose your own series for Minecraft, and this branch of the operation started with its voiceovers. It's been assured that everything is right on track for release in summer of 2025. Now moving right along. Please, you gotta get me out of here. It's been two years and they're still asking for edits. Please, you gotta help me. You weren't supposed to see that. Let's move along with the tour. Well, now that you've seen everything, I'm gonna have to end you. Sorry, you should have signed the NDA. Oh! Next up, we have Alley Cat Fay. Hmm? Oh, it's Boba! I'm so glad we finally got to catch up. I feel like it's been forever since we've talked. I know. So, what's new with you? Oh my god, wait. Did I tell you how Valorant is like kind of obsessed with me? Valorant? As in the video game? Girl, <laughs> you're hard stuck <laughs> gold. <laughs> okay. You didn't have to say that. Ooh, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, okay. That one featured my voice comes from my premiere team in their premiere launch video. Okay. Oh, no. That's me! <laughs> that was me. That was my voice. I did a clove cosplay, and that one not only featured my cosplay on their community roundup I saw your that cosplay. me on Twitter, and I was on the Valorant home page. Every person that logged into Valorant saw my cosplay. And Loki, Clove stole my aesthetic, but I'm not gonna blame them because we like Clove. Maybe they are obsessed with you. I know, right? So like, when they play us out? For real, when am I going to BCT? Hello? Free tickets, please. Thank you. Wow. So this one is from Kat Kaishi. <clears throat> Let's play Dress Up My Life, where I show you three different outfits that show you a little bit about myself. My first fit is my artist fit, which is meant to show my creative side. I love making derpy doodles, pixel art, honestly doing Wait, this is random so cute. art dreams where I just rant about random shit. I wouldn't be myself without art, and I'm genuinely so proud of how far I've progressed. Outfit number two is my Hidden Cat Village fit, which is my favorite. I feel so lucky for the awesome opportunities I've had 
because of my community's support and I honestly just want to make my community proud. The Hidden Cat Village means so much to me and I wouldn't be where I am without them. My last outfit is my glow fit which I love so much. The Gaming League of Women is a community providing resources and help and community to creators online. Being a founder of Glow is definitely one of my top three things I'm most proud of. And with that, there you go. You finished my dress up game. Thanks for playing. Next up, oh, I've seen them in chat, is Gentle Giant. Since the last Royale, I've blown my YouTube to 1k subs back in April and reached affiliate eligibility in February. Although my views are a bit of a hit or miss, my best performing video is my top 30 Perfect. entry from the last Royale. It's 6900 by the way. I've also grown on my other social media platforms, primarily due to Ooh. my Minecraft Canon event series. Enough about numbers. That was a green screen. We're in my office now. It was a painting. Are you getting distracted by my plaques? Or was it the Creator Royale poster? That's why you don't notice the tables are gone. Wait. Or that the plaques are not <laughs> Wait. Not real. The poster is also fake. It's a painting. And we're inside it now. Take a look around. There's a portal. Ooh. I'm now part of two Minecraft communities. The Builders Vision SMP Ooh. and the Tundra SMP. I participated in server events and hosted two of my own. What? This is Scribble Rocks. This is the next creator. Look, I know we worked 63 hours this week, but we got to figure out a highlight for this video. But I'm tired and I don't want to get out of bed. That's too damn bad. Uh, Just pace back and forth a little bit. What can we do? <gasps> Let's go scrolling. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, our stream data TikTok series. That's definitely a highlight. It was a three-part series where I got to collaborate with a couple really great friends. We wanted to help others understand how encoding works in relation to streams so that other streamers can provide the best quality streams to their communities. Now, what else can we find? That one, that one right there. How could I not highlight my IRL videos? As a little plush who loves to go on adventures, I had to figure out a way to blend my 2D self with the IRL world. At this point, it's just kind of a lot of experimenting, but I really love experimenting with all these photos and videos to see how I can push the boundary. Next up, we have Jebby Dory. Whoa. Top 100? I'm shocked I made it here, but I want to take a moment to go back in time and tell you guys a little story. The story that made me who I am today. This is when I started streaming. Yeah, not so professional. I wanted people to that follow looks me for my personality rather than judging me for my looks. So I decided to make a goal of hitting 1,000 followers until I reveal my face so that I know for sure that at least a thousand people are here for me. My vibes and nothing else. And when that moment eventually came, though I was super anxious with my face, out of the open, I just knew streaming felt so right for me. Just do it, just well, do it, five more subs. kind of blew up and I started getting some attention real fast. I reposted a bit, uh, forget about that, but that was 1,000. And now we're reaching for 10,000. I want to go further. I wish to make myself proud. Type one in the chat if you want to come with me. I'm glad to enter round one. Thank you for choosing me and watching this video. Good luck, everybody. It is huge. Heejin. <laughs> I'm Heejin, and I'm a variety screamer. And if you saw my last entry, I guess I'm also now known as a coconut lady that commits to the bit. I'm a Filipino born and raised in the Philippines, but I'm now based in North America. I've diversified my content solely from streaming gameplays to being an art streamer and a dress chatting streamer as well. Because I kind of like to yap. Since my big move from Asia to NA, I've managed to play in Valorant tournaments, get some pretty sick clips out of it, and I've also managed to somehow establish myself as an artist that can create a bunch of cool stuff for my fellow streamers. Not to brag, but my skill set includes just about everything from stream overlays, tournament overlays, logo and brand work, graphics for tournaments, merchandise, Kofi artwork, illustrations. Oh, the merch and is sick! I think you can get the gist out of that one. I'm so excited to learn more and grow more through this royale. I also plan to include other types of contents like lifestyle vlogs, agents art class, baking streams, cooking streams, and so much more. So if you want to keep seeing more of me, you gotta keep an eye out for Heejin Fools. Next up, we have Jankster. So what kind of content do you do exactly? Well, I play horror games. Whoa! What the hell was So those that? have been fun. And I've even done some pretty interesting ones. Run where? 
Where? And I started streaming on Twitch recently, man. I've been doing Bioshock Remastered. Damn! <laughs> He's dead! I also have a reaction video series going. It's called Gas or <laughs> Pass! You don't really have to be so loud. And in that series, me and my friend Darius react to viewer video suggestions. And how exactly did you get into reaction videos? Okay. Okay. And the most complicated thing I have on my channel is my game show, Unparable. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just gonna ignore the Unparable. It's a game show where me and a random friend have to do a randomly spun task together and try to see what we can come up with. It's a whole thing. Last time we had to do a voiceover. Go talk! I probably didn't even show much of that clip because of copyright. Wow, it seems like you've done a lot in the last year, Jank. What? The no, that was just last week. What? W when do you sleep? Next up, we have Gooey. Oh. Oh, my bad. Too great. Oh. Thank you. Please talk into the mic. Oh, uh, thank you. No problem at all. Do you want to play a game? No. <laughs> I put so much time and effort into all of this. And you're not come here. Okay, fine. I'll play your game. You are being broadcasted live in front of millions of people to escape your- Hey, my name is Gooky. You can find me over on YouTube at Gooku Gaming, over on Twitch at It's Gooky. Thank you so much for being here. I've done a lot of cool shit over the time that I've been doing this. I've collabed with some amazing people, been part of podcasts, even ran a podcast myself. But I gotta say, the coolest thing I ever created was my Gamer Touches Grass video, where I took something from a video game and then brought it to real life. I'm actually working on episode two of that now. These videos are actually really good. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you're still gonna die. No, I'm not. You literally tied the world's worst knot, you fing loser. Oh. It's J Bro. Yo, I'm J Bro. I also draw. Jesus, why? <laughs> Y'all may have seen that I've been experimenting with Valorant themed animatics. An animatics? How, how do you say that? The idea began with me adapting a clip from a friend's stream into a storyboard style slideshow. <laughs> But since I'm still a hopeless Valorant player, I'm too late. Never mind, we made it clear. It somehow turned it to me drawing Valorant agents alongside their in game voice lines and interactions. So he has three. Or, or is the middle one a mouse? Huh? Are they all mouse? No. It's time for the next phase. Uh -huh. I sketched backgrounds and separated layers, no moving them independently to give a more animated feel. Oh what if we evolved even further? Comics, yes. full animation, who knows what we conquer next? Maybe the industry, maybe the entire world. Yo, can you relax? Why are you here? You're not even art. Wait, I still have 12 seconds to spare? Maybe I should have how I got to go to my first ever TwitchCon. Or I can mention how I did my first ever sponsored stream. Got out Cat Leonte's sponsorship guide. Oh. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm Jaber. I also draw. Jesus. This is Gina B. I love holidays, and what's better than a holiday where you dress up and get loads of goodies from random strangers? Nothing. Which is why last October, I took on the challenge of creating a daily short form series where I, Gina B, would have to make a random costume in Stardew Valley every single day with this self-made randomizer wheel as my guide. Creating costumes like Cowgirl Barbie to trash cans to our favorite Ogre Shrek, I worked to create a series that was not only fun to watch, but hopefully educational as I showed how and where you could acquire the items and clothing pieces to replicate the costumes in your own Stardew Valley saves, ending the series with a long form video showcasing 50 unique costumes. And in true Halloween spirit, I was gifted countless goodies from strangers in the form of encouraging and heartwarming comments. Like I said, you can't beat costumes and goodies. But this daily series was only the beginning and I'm so excited to keep trying new things like learning some coding in order to make my own Stardew Valley mod. This is definitely not killing me currently. Thanks for watching. So this is their handle, Marshmelody. Okay, highlight something cool that you've done related to your content. There's a few days left and I can't think of anything. <sighs> How did I ever get into the top 100? 100. <gasps> hey! Hello! Oh! Hey! Wait. What is this? Well, that's a way to talk to yourself. Do you even know what you're talking about? Do you How is this even me? happening? What do you mean by that? I don't even have my Hello? tracking plugged in. Can you just please listen to me? <sighs> don't you remember? All the things you've accomplished so far. You hosted your first ever art game show with the doodle. Everyone loved it. You had your first ever charity stream and raised over $600 for SFAC. But the one thing I think you should oh, mention. We are back with another sick app. You put so much Start love into that piece. You drew that? You chose you. You proved to yourself over and over again that you deserve this. And it's only just the beginning. You're right. This is just the beginning. Next up, we have Valk Rivers. 
So why do you create content? I mean, do you too. <laughs> Where are you going with this? So do you do anything cool? Why would anyone ever want to follow you? I gave away stickers of art that I drew. The only person who wants your stick figures on their water bottle is your grandma. I was like Killjoy once. Do you even play Valorant? Sometimes. Yeah. I climbed from Bronze 5 to Silver 1 on stream. I bought a private Minecraft server for my community. Starting to think you should get a real job. It seems like thinking is not your strong suit. I am so excited to announce my very first charity stream. Our goal is to raise $100, and if we do, I will do a six hour cosplay on stream. So join me on June 11th to play some indie games and check out the stream for a cost. Finally announced my very first charity stream. Next up, we have Oi Boys. You know, being a content creator is stressful. Being a content creator is too easy. There's a lot of preparation that goes into making a script, and Tro just doesn't understand. Lately, Richard has been freaking out over some script for a competition. He thinks you can just show up, press record, then upload the video. All he needs to do is just show up, press record, and do something <laughs> funny. Like this one time, we went on prank interviews, and he showed up dressed as Luigi. Boy. Hey, you wanna play some Fortnite? No, I'm working on the top 100 video. What's that? You know, the top 100 competition we entered? No. This other time, we hired a witch to read our futures, and as usual, Astro was late. Hello? So, we're playing some Fortnite, right? I'm working on the script. But honestly, we do work well together. Like that one time, we hired musicians to make us jingles. I'm working on the script. So, the new season of Fortnite just dropped. I'm on my way, man. Next up, we have Traverse Live. Hi again, it's Traverse, the Chipotle guy. Now, let me start off by saying that I've done a lot of weird and unique things in my time as a streamer. But what I'm most proud of by far is when I engineered an automatic and Twitch chat controlled Nerf gun. And here is how I did it. Please don't try this at home. It all started with a few theoretical designs until I found one that worked. You see, this Nerf gun came with a battery. And if you disconnect that battery, you now have an exposed male JST wire. So now taking a female JST pigtail wire and connecting it, I have essentially created a dummy battery. I then took the exposed end of the pigtail and ran it through a terminal to connect to another pigtail, which led to a USB. Then plug that USB into a 10 volt charging block and plug that bad boy into a smart switch. Then code that smart switch to always listen for a Twitch sub or donation or even a certain channel point. And finally, rubber band or wedge that goes accelerator and trigger down. And there you have it. And now every time the smart switch is triggered by chat, I'm shot with a Nerf gun. But anyways, I think it's pretty cool. Next up we have Lil Peach. Minecraft is just a game. You place these silly little square blocks and try to survive the night. But what if I told you it is something so much more than that? something much bigger. Ever since I was eight years old, Minecraft was my favorite game. And then one day I came across a Minecraft YouTube video and everything changed for me. This is when my love for content creation sparked. I discovered streaming May last year, but more importantly, I discovered my community. It's the community that surrounds Minecraft that makes it so special. So when asked about something cool I've done around my content, I'd have to say the coolest thing is to have found my community. We've also done some pretty cool things together. I opened up my own little peach Minecraft server that we could all plan on have fun. Stop! Did you cook my salmon, bro? You're looking good. You're looking cute. We do fun challenges, gamble some stream points, and have fun. So for me, Minecraft is much more than a game. It's a community that has brought people together, and to me, that's pretty cool. Minecraft. So this is FF Sade. This is why I'll never be a programmer. I had an interactive Amori stream where my chat could throw things and defeat me. And how does it work? Well, when chat clicks this button, it sends a call to tits. That's right, the Twitch integrated throwing system, which is this item thrown here. And then it also sends a call to a program called Touch Portal. That's where I come in. So, I first set a random number to see if the hit will be a crit or not. If it's a normal hit, we determine if it would be a killing blow. If it's not, then it plays the sound, tells OBS to show this GIF on top of my default image, and plays this 10 damage animation. Then it goes to Photoshop to delete the uppermost layer of this HP bar because each layer is an increment of 10. There are 51 layers. 
Okay, but after that, we subtract 10 from an HP counter, hide everything we've just played, and then we finally get this. But what if it's a killing blow? Then we go back to square one, show these, play this sound, delete this, show this Jeff and play another sound. Then we hide my VTuber model in one program and then show off an alternate PNG tuber model that's connected to my Discord so long as I am in the voice call. Then we hide all the images, bring the value of the HP counter to less than one, and that triggers another event where it waits two minutes while I manually reset Photoshop so the HP goes back to full. And after two minutes, so I get healed and everything goes back to the vault, and... So this is Galaxy. A Galax Sushi. Sorry, I'm saying their name wrong. Back when I was a young sushi, just barely a full oh. macuro, I genuinely struggled picking what I wanted to do when I grew up. We all get asked that basic question, and some respond with an actor, or a firefighter, or a my Little Pony. But for me, oh. I wanted to be everything. I love the idea of acting and singing and writing stories and making video games and no joke being a content creator. It felt tough to just pick one, so that's why I'm not. Why pick when I can try everything at least once? In the past, I've experimented with a couple projects and my current goal is to make a unique way to tell a story with both pre-recorded and real-time methods with the flesh out storyline and anime vibes that can bring both viewers and creators together. Another thing I'm currently super interested in is trying out play-by-play -play casting. You know those people Ooh. hyping up everything happening in a battle tournament? Yeah. One Day, that'll be me, mainly because I like the app a lot, as well as running my own event or making an album or a podcast or a book, just dabbling into any type of content that interests me. Because as cheesy as it sounds, if you set your mind to something, you really can do it. Oh, we're gonna actually watch Poggy's first. <laughs> I never thought I'd be an illustrator. Growing up in a Filipino household, the focus was always on studying medicine or nursing. I chose a different path and pursued art. <gasps> well, specifically graphic design because I wasn't the most talented illustrator and graphic design had career opportunities. I got the dream job and worked at tech companies, but I grew exhausted and the unethical work environments at these companies crushed my spirit and it dimmed my creative spark. I lost my passion for creating. I was in a really dark place when I decided to draw a silly little frog. That's when I created Pog Pals. It reignited my passion to create and make Aww. something that truly excites me. I never saw myself as an illustrator because I was a graphic designer. I someone need who that bandana. Pixels. Now I make cute products that bring me so much joy. I've made a coloring book, bandanas, and journals. And I never knew drawing a silly frog would make someone smile. And that makes me so happy. Next up, we have Jem. Yeah, I love this topic. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Yeah, thank you guys. Bye, guys. Thanks Bye, for watching. Thank you. How do I get this thing off? I feel like as content creators, we're often viewed as robots, as if we're not people with feelings or life experiences. I mean, I know I have stories to share. I also know I enjoy learning, listening, and being inspired or inspiring. So my best friend Joy and I decided to create a podcast called Jemmyverse. We cover topics on friendships, insecurities, skincare, and even what it's like to make career-changing decisions. We wanted to create a place where people can come together and be a little vulnerable <laughs> to remind everyone that we all laugh and smile and hurt and feel doubt. The purpose of the podcast is to uplift each other and recognize that every creator, no matter how small, has something valuable to contribute. Because at Jemmyverse, we want to emphasize the human behind the screen. That is so cute. Experiences. 